because your mind plays all kinds of games with you. My mucus discharge is decreased. Is that a good sign or not? I'm feeling PMS. Is that a good sign or not? A lot of the symptoms you perceive are going to be very similar to PMS symptoms. Patients often ask us, how will I know whether my embryo is implanted or not? And the reality is that the worst part of an IVF cycle is what we call the 2WW or the two-week waiting period when we put the embryo back in the uterus where the patient doesn't know whether she's pregnant or not. In one sense, she's what she thinks is partly pregnant because she knows the embryo is inside the uterus, but she doesn't know whether the embryo is going to become a baby. And these two weeks can be held because your mind plays all kinds of games with you. My breasts are feeling full and tender. Is that a good sign or not? My mucus discharge is decreased. Is that a good sign or not? I'm feeling PMS. Is that a good sign or not? And the trouble is there is really no symptom which can help us to differentiate whether the embryo is implanted or not. And the reason is simple. This is a small microscopic ball of cells we're putting in the uterus. How will the body ever be able to tell us whether implantation is occurring or not? And even symptoms like bleeding or not bleeding or anything else, there's just too much overlap between a successful IVF cycle and a failed IVF cycle. So my only request is, please don't allow your mind to play games with you. And the reality is a lot of the symptoms you perceive are going to be very similar to PMS symptoms. And that's partly because we're giving you estrogen and progesterone after the transfer, which is exactly what your body produces. So that often the symptoms of premenstrual syndrome or PMS are exacerbated in an IVF cycle. But this does not tell you whether you're pregnant or you're not pregnant. And unfortunately, you just have to live through those two weeks. And it's only that blood test, the beta-HCG blood test, which is going to give us the answer of whether the embryo implanted or not.